friends! Today we are going to learn about one of the natural disasters, wildfires. So let's get started. First of all, what is a wildfire? A wildfire is a fire in the wild area, such as a forest that is uncontrolled and can burn a large area very quickly. A wildfire differs from other fires by its extensive size, the speed at which it can spread out, and its ability to jump gaps such as roads and rivers. A wildfire can last for a very long time, it can be days, weeks, or even a few months before it can be put out. Now, before proceeding further, let's first discuss the concept between a fire in brief. Three elements are needed to ignite a fire. Fuel, oxygen, and a source of heat. These three elements create a fire triangle. Let's understand them one by one. First one is fuel. Fuel is a flammable substance that ignites easily and burns rapidly with a flame. This can be a solid, liquid, or a gas. Solid fuels can be dry and dead grass, trees, dry leaves, or coal. Liquid fuel can be petroleum or turpentine oil. Gas fuels can be LPG, as in liquefied petroleum gas, and CNG, compressed natural gas. Now the second element that is needed for a fire is oxygen. Oxygen is a colorless, odorless gas present in the air that supports combustion. And combustion is the process of burning something. The air we breathe contains 21% oxygen, and only 16% out of the 21% present is required to produce fire. Now the third element for fire is heat. Any object that can be used to produce heat is considered as a source of heat. There must be a heat source to start the combustion process. This heat source can be lightning, the sun, volcanoes, or others. So we have studied about the three elements which a fire needs to ignite, fuel, oxygen, and a source of heat. If any of these elements are missing, then the fire will not start. To start a fire, we need all three elements, and if we remove one of them, the fire will be extinguished. So now we know the three elements of the fire triangle. Now we will learn how wildfires start. Wildfire starts when all the necessary elements of the fire triangle are present. Wildfires will often occur in wild, unpopulated areas, but they can also occur anywhere. Farm homes, humans, agriculture, and animals. Wildfires often begin unnoticed and spread very quickly. Depending on the type of vegetation being burnt, the wildfire can also be known as wild land fire, vegetation fire, grass fire, bush fire, or hill fire. Wildfires can travel 14 miles per hour. Now let's learn the causes of wildfires. First, we will learn the natural causes. The first is lightning. When lightning strikes, it can produce a spark. It can strike trees, power cables, homes, and many more things to start a fire, which in turn results in a wildfire. Since lightning is usually associated with rain, such wildfires do not spread over large areas. The next is volcanic eruption. Sometimes volcanoes create a favorable condition for ignition of wildfires in nearby areas. The red hot lava of the volcano can start a wildfire. The third cause can be hot dry weather. When strong winds blow in such a weather, dry branches and dry fallen leaves may catch on fire easily, and it also spreads very quickly, resulting in a wildfire. Another reason can be drought. We know that a drought is a situation where a dry land does not experience rainfall for a prolonged period of time. A drought dries up almost everything, wherever it happens. For example, when the branches of a tree dry up, they provide good material to start a fire. 
Dry branches catch on fire quickly due to the heat of the sun, and there is also not enough moisture in the branches. Dry branches catch fire due to the heat of the sun, and there isn't enough moisture present in the branches and air to curb the fire. Therefore, the fire spreads quickly, resulting in a wildfire. Now, what is a wildfire? A wildfire is a fire in a wild area, such as a forest, that is uncontrolled and can burn a large area. It differs from other fires, while its extensive size and speed at which it can spread out from its source, and its ability to jump gaps, such as roads or rivers. So, these are some of the natural causes of the wildfire. Now, let's learn some of the human causes. First is arson. Arson is an act of setting fire to buildings, wild land areas, cars, or any other property. When someone sets fire near a vegetation area, trees and dry fallen leaves of the vegetation area catch fire, resulting in a wildfire. Next is a barbecue. Sometimes the fire of a barbecue creates a favorable condition for ignition of wildfires in the nearby area. Next is campfires. We all enjoy camping with our family and friends. Sometimes we set up a bonfire during camping because fires are needed for various things and this fire can start a wildfire if not extinguished properly because flammable material near the bonfire may catch on fire. Another reason can be cigarettes. Some people who smoke might throw the butt of a cigarette anywhere without extinguishing it properly and that can result in a wildfire. Next are the sparks from train wheels. Sometimes the sparks produced from the train can start a fire in the vegetation nearby. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye!